Okay guys, so before we get started, I just want to let you all know that this involves altering the files in your Monica After Story game. And it is a sub mod, so it's not part of the main Monica After Story mod. So in case you mess things up, I would highly recommend backing up your persistent file. In case you don't know, that's basically your save state or save game of Monica After Story. If you don't know how to do it, there is going to be a link in the description of this video to a guide which will show you how to. So yes, please keep that in mind. And as a general rule, it's a good idea to back up your persistent file and put it somewhere like on a pen drive or on a cloud, you know, just in case something happens and you need to back up Monica, you know. So that's a good idea. And with that said, let's start. So for the purposes of this guide, I'm going to be using TW4449's mod, and there will be a link to this Google Drive in the description. Go to it, click on the custom room location selector folder, and there's actually instructions right there. Uh, let me just uh, resize this. Uh, it looks very odd. Yeah, that's much better now. So the instructions are rather simple. If you want the entire set of backgrounds, then you will open the complete set folder and download that. That's what I'm going to be doing. After that, you what you want to do is you want to unzip it in the download folder of your computer. And then from the unzipped folder you will copy the game and the lib folder into your ddlc directory and if you have an affection more than 400 the mod will work and you can change the location where she is so let's start with this don't worry i'm gonna be going through all these steps too so in case i was too fast or anything so anyway let's go to complete set recommended and let's download it Room selector all in one. Okay, it's going to take some time to download. Uh, let me just skip that part. Okay, so now it's fully downloaded. And let me just open up my download folder. Okay, here you go. And you can see though that the zip folder is there. I just need to extract the contents or unzip it. Uh, I don't think you guys could see the small menu I just popped up, but uh, there was one, and I unzipped it. Um, basically, you right-click on the folder, and look, there you have it. There's the folder is there. Um, sorry, what I was saying was you right-click on the zipped folder, and once you do that, you click on Extract All, and then it will extract the files. And now you can click on this folder. And you can see though that there are two folders in the main directory, game and lib or lib. And those are the ones we will be working with. Next, what you want to do is you want to open up your DDLC directory as in the folder where your Monica After Story mod is installed. Um, this isn't a guide on how to install Monica After Story. If you need a guide on that, uh, I made one. There will be a link to it in the description. Uh, so right, so this folder has also a folder by the name of game and lib in it. You'll know you're in the right directory because the DDLC game is there. So that's where you should be. So now what you want to do is you want to go back to the extracted folder with the mod. And you just want to copy the game and the lib folder. Let me just pull that up right now. Okay, so just select both of them and then copy it, either using Control c on Windows, or you can right-click and click on Copy Folder. Then go here and then paste them. That's Control v or you can right-click and go for Paste. And uh, it's not showing you guys the small little button which shows uh, when you paste things on here, but uh, basically it's worked. You might get a dialog box saying 
that there are already folders by the same name in the location, click on replace all of them. And with that done, let's open up DDLC. Okay, so here I have the game open up. And if you go to settings, you'll see though that there is a sub mods option. And here you can see all of the sub mods you've just installed and their names. And you can also update it easily from here. So anyway, let's go back and let's actually change the room. Go to Hey Monica, location, and can we go somewhere else? Okay, let's go to the den. And with that, we are here. Let me just take a screenshot for the thumbnail. And we can change location again. Let's go through the other backgrounds. Uh, now you might be wondering though that uh, these are all the backgrounds we have. There are, I think like six or seven options. So can you put in more of them? And the answer is yes. If you want to, you can put in any background you want as long as you've drawn it. But that's a bit more complicated and I might talk about that in a different video. This mod is pretty straightforward. You just install it and it's right there. You don't really need to do anything else. So I wanted to start with this, but there is a way though that you can install any basically image as the background if you want. But I won't talk about that here, but I will link to where you can read about it if you want to check that out. Okay, wait, she's uh, singing. Let me just try to skip through this real fast. Okay, wait, I think I skipped through something that might be important. Uh, actually, I think there's some sort of mistake here. I think though that this dialogue should have appeared the moment I installed the sub mod, but it's appearing now when I went to the furnace space room one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we should have seen this the moment I installed the sub mod, but whatever. Yeah, I did add new rooms, Monica. You were just in them. You're talking as if you weren't in them like a few seconds ago. Okay, so this is basically her explaining how to use it. Uh, again, you need an affection level of 400 to access this. And there's a guide on affection on the official wiki, again linked down below. Let's check out the other space rooms. Okay, this one I think is a bit nicer than the earlier one. Okay, so this one actually has a piano in it, so... You know, pretty cool. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have a question, leave it down below. Like I said, the instructions are also in a text document on the actual page, so I don't think you should have a problem. And please remember to back up your persistent before trying this. And thanks for watching, guys. 